and welcome to another review from Colour with Claire. Today I'm reviewing lots of different books that are all in the same series. I've got loads here as you can see. This is the National Trust colouring book of cards and envelopes and also the gift boxes that you can colour as well. I'm going to go through each book one by one so you can see what each book has to offer and I'll be putting all the links to buy these books in the description. So first of all, what are these books? They are made of very high quality card and what you do is you colour each card and the envelope to go with it and it gives you instructions on how to fold it into an envelope so that you can give these to your family, friends, anybody really and you've always got a card for any different occasion. So as you can see each page contains two cards. They're already perforated so they're really easy to remove from the book. They have these uh, fold lines so they're easy to just fold straight over and get perfect edge every time. Each card has a front image, a small image on the left hand side and a big border image on the right hand side where you'd write your message. And the back of the card has this coloured for you by where you can put your name. So there's something on every page of the card. So this one is Flowers and Butterflies. Every book has 24 cards and envelopes and also 24 stickers for you to seal your envelopes. So really lovely, well-made quality books. So if you enjoy making your own cards or crafting or you just want to give something a little bit more personal to your friends and family, these are ideal. As you can see, this is one I've coloured. I use water-based pens and there's absolutely nothing on the other side. So they're very thick, very high quality. They're bright white, so they're not ivory or any other creamy kind of colour. And this one, being flowers and butterflies, obviously contains lots of different types of flowers, plants, petals, leaves and butterflies and insects. So now we're on to the envelopes part and these are all in order. So, I mean, you can do them in whatever order you like, but these two cards will correspond with the first two envelopes. So they'll have the same kind of illustration on, if that makes sense. And the back or the inside of the envelopes have this hugely detailed repeating pattern for you to attempt to colour or you can just leave it. But every single one has this pattern and it all corresponds to each card with the style of drawing. So just absolutely incredible amount of work has gone into these books and they really are very high quality. They cost between eight and ten pounds on Amazon. And as you can hopefully see, all the perforation lines, the folding lines are done for you. So really super easy. And that's the end of the envelopes. And we move on to the stickers. So in the back of each book, there will be a beautiful sticker, all in different themes to go with, whichever card and envelope you choose. And this will just seal your envelope for you. So that's it, 24 cards, 24 envelopes, 24 stickers. So that is flowers and butterflies. All the books are the same format, so I'm just going to go through and show you some images from all of them. This one's nature. So we have some beautiful woodland animals. We've got owls, rabbits, we've got acorns and oak leaves. Here's one I've just started to test some different mediums on. This one's lovely, some otters underneath the waterline. We've got deer, hedgehogs. Here's another one I've coloured. We've got badger sets. And then we're on to the envelopes, which as I say, all correspond to one of the cards in the book, but you can mix and match. So same format throughout the whole <clears throat> series of books. And it's really nice just to be able to have cards ready. You know, if, if it's a birthday that you've forgotten about or some sort of occasion, you haven't got time to go out and buy a book, or buy a card, you've got these books full of cards ready in, on your shelf just to colour. Or you can even give them away black and white. So here are the stickers again, little animals and toadstools and things. 
Also, the front cover of the box is all really colourful, as you can see, but it also has beautiful gold foiling on it. So it really has been made with the utmost care and quality. This is the colouring book of cards and envelopes, a year of celebrations. So this particular one goes through all the seasons of the year um, with different occasions and things like Valentine's Day, Mother's Day. We've got Happy Easter, Father's Day, Happy Birthday. Sorry, these have come apart. I think I took one out actually. There's a few happy birthday ones, obviously that's the most popular occasion. Happy anniversary, congratulations, little baby clothes, that's beautiful for a newborn. We've got thank you cards, again extremely handy for when you just want to say thanks. Happy Christmas, we've got love, thinking of you, get well soon. And then we move on to the envelopes again all themed to go with the different occasions so this will probably be Mother's Day or Valentine's Day we've got Easter with the spring lambs and bunnies just go through these quickly so we've got the little baby one there with the bibs and the baby grows and on the back there's just some lovely flowers and then right to the back of the book are your stickers again corresponding so we've got snowmen we've got spring robins we've got Christmas all that kind of good stuff the next one is amazing animals and beautiful birds again this um, instruction page is on every single book for you to make them so you never have to keep going back it's really easy actually so once you've done it once or twice you'll get it so this is Amazing Animals and Beautiful Birds. So we've got some dragons, peacock, we've got camels, this rather Egyptian one. We've got tigers. These are quite, um, they look like hieroglyphs or things, cave paintings. So this is a really interesting one actually. And the inside of the cards also have these beautiful borders, as they all do. So we've got um, lots of Asian Oriental influence in this and Egyptian. And it's quite heavy on sort of patterns and tiles, this one. So here we are with the envelopes and on the back, a little bit less busy for those who are a bit daunted by the heavy detail on the other books. And then eventually we will end up on the stickers page which is probably my favorite stickers page out of all of them this is absolutely beautiful so really brightly colored wonderful patterns just lovely and in the back of this one interestingly enough there is an index of inspiration so it shows you some real ornaments plates tiles things like that that these illustrations have been based on or inspired by and you can look at this and choose colour palettes that go with it and just have a bit of an insight into what they actually look like. This one is not actually the National Trust, it's the British Museum. So these all, the, all these objects belong to the British Museum and you can go along and actually see them in person. So as you can see here it says British Museum. So absolutely lovely one that, quite unusual. This one we're back to the National Trust, this is summertime. So there's going to be lots of beautiful plants, flowers, creatures, everything that you can imagine that would be lovely and colourful for summer. So here's one that I've done, these lovely dolphins. Can you get that please darling? Lovely dolphins and a beautiful border. Again, I have coloured this one in water-based markers and as you can see, no bleed through. These are a couple of ones that I've actually taken out to do. So we've got shells, 
we've got flowers, we've got quite an intricate one fish with fish here, looks a bit like Johanna Basford's Lost Ocean, and then one with some sea creatures. So I'll just quickly go through the book. Lots of seashells, beachy inspired stuff, and then onto the envelopes. Here are the stickers on the back. So we've got our fish, butterflies, plants and animals. The next one up is Unicorns and Rainbows. Now this one isn't actually out until next month in the UK, so you can pre-order it. Again, all the links are going to be in the description. This is Cards and Envelopes, Unicorns and Rainbows. This is my absolute favourite because I'm quite obsessed with unicorns at the moment um, and it just features lots of beautiful illustrations of cute things so not just unicorns we've got cute little cats there's a lot of stones and diamonds in this so very very girly but I absolutely love this unicorn head which is decorated by sort of trailing roses we've got cupcakes and fruit Lots of rainbows, of course. There's stars. We've got little pugs and poodles. It's a very, very cute one, this one. And again, onto the envelopes. This beautiful unicorn and rainbow border on this envelope. And on the back, we've got more stars. Lots of gems and crystals. Absolutely stunning. If you're quite a girly girl or you just love unicorns and rainbows then this is going to be ideal for you or if you have somebody that loves them you've got their cards set for the next 24 birthdays <laughs> and again stickers lovely unicorns flowers cupcakes rainbows swans stars and lots of glittery bits and bobs now we move on to the gift boxes. Yes, the, the uh, publisher Nosy Crow also makes books of gift boxes which go along with the cards. This one is Birds and Blossom. And again, you have the instructions on the inside cover of how to make these boxes. Super, super easy. And you've got the sticker to seal the box as well. All the perforations and folds have been done for you. Some of these have been taken out. I have already done them, but they've gone off to people. So unfortunately I can't show you them. But again, just wonderful illustration. Really lovely. We've got rabbits, birds, bunting, flowers. This one's lovely on the underside of the box, these carrots. And on the bottom of the box is the coloured for you by. So you can put your name on all of them. And again, there's 24 in this. And here are the stickers. So with it being a box, you'll have a gift inside for somebody. You can put to and from. And these are metallic, so they add an extra dimension. On the back inside cover, it gives you some recipes for butterfly cakes, Easter egg biscuits and chocolate nests. So little treats that you can put inside these boxes, which is a really lovely addition to the book. The next one is the Colouring Book of Beautiful Gift Boxes Christmas Edition. So obviously it's all going to be baubles and gifts and stars and oh look at this beautiful polar bear in the centre of this box. Everything Christmas in this one. Got reindeer, we've got the nutcrackers. This would be absolutely wonderful for if you're giving um, a little box of maybe some really nice chocolates or just little treats. They could even be Christmas Eve boxes for the kids filled with some little sweets and things like that. We've got wreaths gingerbread men, baubles, we've got angels, pine cones, snowflakes, 
we've got bells and again here are the metallic stickers in gold this time so we have snowball truffles gingerbread stars and peppermint cream recipes here for you to put inside your boxes and this one is another christmas one of, of um, cards and envelopes i should have put that before the boxes but anyway this is the christmas cards and envelopes by rebecca jones so these will go along with your christmas gift boxes started coloring this one here as you can see we've got santa big jolly fat santa got foxes christmas trees robins little penguins with scarves yeah i love this sort of snow globe scene here we've got stockings christmas trees birds wreaths and then onto the envelopes again Just going to flick through here to give you an idea. And at the back, of course, we have our ceiling stickers, all Christmas themed in lovely pastel shades. So that is the end. I've got to the end of these books. I really hope you've enjoyed looking at them. There is quite a few of them and there are more planned for the future. Uh, Nosy Crow are going to be releasing Easter gift boxes and the Year of Celebrations gift boxes next year, I believe, I think 2018 for the Easter, so next Easter. And yeah, keep your eye out for more of these books. I'll hopefully review them in the future. Everything's in the description for you to find, and I will see you soon on Colour with Claire.